drinking some peppermint tea. I'm wearing this coat for dramatic effect. I hope it's working. So basically, I'm taking you on my journey towards health and fitness. Initially, this video was gonna be a little bit different. I was gonna show you guys my workouts, all the steps I'm gonna take to be fit physically wise, but I injured myself. I went back to the gym because they reopened and I went a little bit too heavy with the hip thrust. And ever since then, it's been a month I'm in pain and I can barely walk. So I posted about this on my Instagram. A lot of you asked me like why I'm doing this. Am I not happy with myself or whatever? And to be perfectly honest, I am not or was not happy with myself physically, mentally, emotionally, just all of the above. I just wasn't happy with myself. Quarantine kind of gave me this excuse to just, you know, not care about myself, you know what I mean? You know, I can eat whatever I want, McDonald's five times a week, and it's gotten to the point where, first of all, it's really bad for my bank account because I keep getting food from out. Second of all, it's really bad for my insides. I'm all about moderation and, you know, having what you wanna have in moderation, but this was not moderation. This was like every single day I was eating horribly. So I want to strive for health again. It's not just about losing weight, although, let me tell you, I can barely fit in any of my clothes anymore, especially my bottoms because I don't know about you guys, but I gain weight on my bottom half of my uh, body. So, you know, and especially during quarantine, I went days without seeing the sun. The only exercise I got was walking back and forth from the fridge. But you guys, I just want you to know this isn't just about weight. This is a lot more than that. This is about providing nutrients greens you know help to my body because it needs it especially during this time i've never felt more weak and, and the last thing i want to do is give you guys this false idea that i eat whatever i want i'm eating mcdonald's five times a week i don't gain a single pound guys i've gained a lot of weight i weigh more than i've ever weighed in my entire life and there's nothing wrong with that but i just wanted to say that i gain weight like everyone else i just really want to learn how to listen to what my body really needs and I feel like I haven't done that for a while. Let's get on with the video. So today is Monday, the first day of my fitness journey or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go grocery shopping. I already made like a big grocery list and a list of what I'm going to eat this week just to make it easier on the grocery shopping. Okay, I just got back from grocery shopping and I'm just gonna do a little haul so you guys can get an idea of what I'm gonna be eating this week. So I got tomatoes, I always eat Greek yogurt. I got like two pounds of shrimp, salmon, this chicken is so good, some feta cheese, dark chocolate. I've never tried celery juice before. I didn't really hop on that trend, but I'm gonna give it a try. Pasta, eggs. Almond flour, bread, ginger, I got like a bunch of veggies, some avocado, microgreens, mint. Is this like really cute advent calendar for cats that have treats inside of them? So I thought like my cats would really like that. Some peppermint herbal tea, lentils, popcorn is really good. Today I just wanted a quick and easy lunch so I'm just having this Middle Eastern feast along with the stuffed peppers from Trader Joe's. They're pre-packaged so I didn't have to do anything. I'm literally just putting everything on the plate. It's so easy, convenient, and honestly, it's pretty healthy and delicious. I love it. On the menu tonight, we're having shrimp spring rolls. So I have some shrimp. I made some peanut sauce. It was really easy. Bell pepper, mint, cucumber. We're gonna put some lettuce, and it's gonna be really delicious. So it's around 10 and I'm munching on some popcorn. And I'm showing Harrison Gossip Girl for the first time. I'm also eating two Twizzlers, I love these. Harrison hid them from me and has been handing out like two a day cause otherwise I'd eat the whole bag so it's just better that way. Okay so I just woke up and I got myself a caramel macchiato with almond milk, sugar free vanilla and light caramel drizzle. It only comes out to like 50 calories and it's like the big one I think. And I'm also watching a childhood classic, Card Captor Sakura. <laughs> So 
So I'm not really a vitamin person, but since COVID started, I have been taking this vitamin D. There's a direct link with people who are low on vitamin D and really severe cases of COVID. So I've been taking that because I'm on this fitness journey. I'm gonna start taking these two. So this is magnesium, vitamin C, and zinc, along with my vitamin D. It's breakfast time. Okay, I picked this up yesterday at Trader Joe's. Um, I don't think I've had a green juice since my Victoria's Secret model diet video, and I'm not even entirely sure I did have a green juice in that video. Okay, I see. It's very sweet. It tastes like a fruit juice. It is really good, actually. I'm just not really sure if this will fill me up because I'm more of a food person. Drinks don't really do it for me, so we'll see and I'll let you guys know. Lunch is ready. It looks so freaking good. I'm so excited. I feel like this combo of foods is just like unmatched. Look at this. Look at the quality of these foods. Yum. My peanut butter chocolate banana bites these are truly amazing oh my goodness they taste like Reese's cups who said healthy food is boring and bland these are healthy and they're delicious so highly recommend this little snack especially if you have a huge sweet tooth like me these are perfect also, you guys, I'm watching Gilmore Girls for the first time. I'm on season three already, and it's only been like a week, and I am obsessed with it. It's such a good, feel-good show. This show literally injects serotonin into my brain. I'm gonna go eat my little banana bites and watch the best show ever. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed, but today I'm aiming to cut out meat and dairy and go kind of vegan for the day. I'm trying to do that at least once a week. So I found this beautiful lentil bolognese recipe on Pinterest and it looks freaking amazing because I love lentils. So I'm giving this a go and it smells absolutely divine. We are just sitting on the floor because we don't want to get our new white couch dirty. We're eating some pasta. We're about to watch some Gossip Girl. A little update on the cat bed situation. It's safe to say they love it. You know, one of the few good things about going out to walk is just taking in the nature, just everything beautiful surrounding you. So I just got out of a doctor's appointment. I had my blood drawn. I'm just getting like a little checkup, make sure everything is fine. So I'm actually heading to go pick up Harrison from work and then we're gonna go to Whole Foods and Erwan, which are both these health food stores that a lot of like healthy and trendy people go to. So I'm gonna go try to find some, you know, health food stuff that I've never tried before and try it on camera for you guys. So that's gonna be fun. We just got back from Air One. So I've been 
seeing these dream pops they're plant-based uh four grams of sugar per pop 80 calories per pop um are they like candies no they're ice creams oh. supposedly healthy and then also by the same brand they're dream bites low sugar low calories vegan We'll give that a try. And then we got a turmeric shot. I've been hearing all the rave that turmeric is very healthy. I got chlorophyll. I know this is really weird. Uh, apparently it's healthy and if you add it to smoothies, it makes it like a bright green or blue color. Let me do a selfie impression. It was expensive, so I'm just gonna put <laughs> all it All right, so. I like your big juice. This is green juice. Half of it's it. It's all organic, by the way. Organic celery, cucumber, dandelion, parsley, granny smith apple. I thought it said granny for a second. I was like, Granny's in there! Granny smells apple. Granny's in there. Coconut cream, ginger, lemon, and chlorophyll. Last but not least, we got the famous Erwan Sushi. So guess how much this was? Just guess. This was $58.96. I'm just gonna eat it like this, because I'm a savage. You're trying to look cute while you do it? Because you always look cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Ah, too much wasabi. That was wasabi, I thought it was like avocado. For late lunch, early dinner, I went to my mom's house and she made this delicious huge salad with lots of veggies and avocado and grilled this amazing filet mignon steak. And then I had a few of her Costco macarons. They were so freaking good, you guys. Today I got a little bit of a workout in by walking around. I didn't listen to any music, I was kind of just taking in nature, really listening to my thoughts, trying to have a conversation with myself. Music is amazing and all, but I feel like sometimes it's a little distracting and kind of numbs the world around you. So I really wanted to be like in the moment and really soak up the nature. And pumpkin. And pumpkin. With granola and blueberries and pecan bite things. Cheers. What the fuck was I thinking? I'm having some cold leftover fried rice. Mmm. It's actually even better cold. <laughs> All right, so I'm eating my salad. It's actually so good. Flavorful because of the sauce. And I'm watching my favorite video on YouTube right now. It's so cute. Look this up, you guys. It's so calming and just cute. I'm obsessed with it. So for a snack, I'm having these dream pops and they're like plant-based little ice pops. Very good stuff, I highly recommend. I really like how my nails and this like icicle and my eyeshadow and this angle like really match. You see this? to the 
beach. I have the Whole Foods bag. Harrison is getting ready. So I'm gonna do a little Whole Foods haul. We got these, they're little green pea snacks. They're so good. We got these little protein sticks and these puffs. Kombucha, I've actually never really tried kombucha before. So I'm gonna try it because everyone says it's like really healthy and good for you. We got this hemp shot. There's turmeric, ginger, and hemp seed oil, so. And we got this chicken teriyaki bowl to share. It looks really good. And obviously for dessert, we got these uh, caramel cookies. These are so good, I've tried these before. They're literally the best cookies. And we have the view of the ocean. Looks pretty. Protein puffs, let's give them a taste. They're gluten free, so we'll see if they're any good. Ooh, that looks cheesy. Mm. You like it? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Give me a bite. Oh, these are great. Thank you. I just love holding them. Cheers, best part. Mmm. Ready. at McDonald's after the beach and I got myself an ice cream cone. Quarter pounder with cheese over here. Royale with cheese. This is the best freaking soft serve. I swear. Mm -hmm. health to me isn't just about what my body looks like. How my mind is doing is also very important. I love to feel physically and mentally pampered. I love taking care of my skin, whether it's by putting on a face mask or my daily skincare routine. I also love to read. I love to immerse myself in different worlds and ideas. My surroundings are also really, really important to me. Keeping a tidy home makes my mind feel at ease. It makes me happy to decorate my living space with cool decor. For example, these candles. My best friend Chloe recently opened a candle business. I'm beyond proud of her for making such a big step. They're so beautiful, smell amazing, and all handmade. Obviously, this isn't sponsored, but I'm just so proud of my girl, so please check her website out if you can.
I made some pasta for the hike we're about to go on. There's mushrooms, onions, Kalamata olives, some basil. It's just so good. But I'm hungry right now, so I'm just gonna eat a little bit and bring some for the hike. Oh. 